Close your eyes, watch your breath, and watch your mind watching your breath to make sure that it stays here. As John Lee points out, that's the duty of alertness. He says it's like a pulley, a rope going over a pulley. You pull it in one direction, then you pull it in the other, back and forth, back and forth, to make sure the mind and the breath stay together. And that's what you have to be interested about in the present moment. We're not being alert to just whatever's happening, the sound of the crows, the sound of the kid. We're alert to what we're doing. Because that's the whole point of the teaching. As the Buddha said, it's because of what we're doing that we're suffering, but also we can learn to do things in a way that puts an end to suffering. So our actions are important. That's the most important thing happening in the present moment is what you're doing. The world out there tells us that they're, they're more important. They've even got us so that we have we carry little screens of them around in our pockets. They don't stay in our pockets, they come out and wherever you go people are looking at their screens all the time. They have no sense of their own selves, no sense of their own activities. So we're here to fight that tendency. To look at what we're doing and learn how to do it more skillfully. So keep watch right here, because if there's going to be any change in the world, it's got to come from right here. Otherwise you leave this world and come to another world, it's just going to be like this one. In other words, if you're the same person, it's going to be the same world. So you want to learn new skills so that you're a new person doing things in new ways. So keep watch right here and notice what you're doing, notice how it's going what the results are, and then adjust things so the results get better. That's how the Buddha himself found awakening. We want to awaken in line with him. There's a Pali term, Anu Buddha, people who follow the Buddha. And it just mean, just doesn't mean following him physically, it means that whatever he does, we do. He develops virtue, concentration, discernment, well, we develop virtue, concentration, and discernment in our own actions. And that's how we become awakened in his wake.